Hey, what's up guys? Sebastian Castro here. Just wanted to share another quick tip. Last week I talked about how to convert a 16 inch floor tom into a 16 inch kick drum. Today I wanted to talk about how um, this becomes a big problem when taking equipment to a gig. You have your 22 inch kick, you have your floor tom, you have your 10, your 12, your snare, you know, you have your equipment and it gets very difficult to take five pieces plus taking your hardware plus taking your cymbals by the time you know it you don't even want to jam out you're tired of already setting up taking the gear out of the truck putting it so today's quick tip is going to be a little bit more about how to compact this equipment in the smallest amount of bags possible to take now when i converted the 16 um, and also use a 10 and a 12. One of the biggest things for me was actually trying to find a way how to not take so many bags still. I mean, I'm going smaller, so I wanted something smaller to be able to travel with. What I ended up finding was this right here. This is a Protec bag. And honestly, this carries your toms. When I found this bag, I was actually looking again online to find something that I would be able to take my gear in and not have to worry too much about carrying everything all together. So what I did was I looked online, did some research, and found this amazing bag. With this bag, I was able to carry this here with no problem. This bag is well insulated. It also has uh, extra pads to be able to separate the drums a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you guys how easy it is to be able to take your 16 inch kick drum, 12 inch tom, and your 10 inch tom for the next gig. So with this, I'm actually able to take my kick, my two toms. Now of course, my snare, if I wanted to, I probably could make it fit. But in this case, I really don't try to push too much on this. Um, it still looks like it's got enough room to be able to throw a snare in, but I really don't try it because of the fact that I don't want to mess up the heads. I don't want to mess up the lugs. Um, if I go to another gig and it's messed up, I'm going to have a hard time trying to get it all going. It's got the 16, 12, and the 10. And all I got to do is take my snare in a snare bag, got my hardware. Now I don't have to worry about taking all these drums in separate bags but instead i can actually take this to my next gig and actually that's what i'm setting up for because i'm actually getting ready to go and play and really needed to pack this stuff up so it's really that simple as i'm putting the rest of this that's it so all I need to do now is find my snare bag, put my hardware in my hardware bag, take my cymbals. Thanks again, guys. This was another quick tip for drummers. If you guys are looking to go smaller, this is an amazing bag. I'm not endorsed by Protec, but I thought this was a great idea. Many of you guys that are taking a bunch of drums with you, the other thing you could do is if you decide, well, I wanna take my 22 inch, well, you can still take your 10, 12, and 16. 10, 12, and 14, whatever you decide. You still could take your 22 inch, you could still pack your snare in another snare bag and take it with you for the road. Other than that, I'm getting ready to get out of here. So that's it. Now I just gotta pack my hardware, my snare, take my cymbals, and I'm out of here. Until next week, God bless. Don't forget, check us out online at castrodrums.com and also uh, Living Disciples Media, which is uh, one of the companies where I'm doing a lot of video production, audio equipment, uh, installation and stuff, where I plan to actually talk a little bit more about lighting, video production, the equipment I'm using for recording drums in-house, and of course, check out the other tech hack where I talk about the batteries, where I talk about the clamp, the Zoom H4n Pro. Other than that, I'm ready to get out of here because I got to get ready to get to this gig. So you guys have a blessed one. I'm out.